why. So I feel guilty quite easily. I take it again, ready? One, two. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're just, a, it's just a wall. Sorry, you're not just a wall. I know that you're the foundation. And the other day I hopped into an elevator and I accidentally pressed the wrong button. And the lady in it looked at me like I had shot her dog made a coat out of it and then wore that coat to her workplace and ate her sandwich even though it had her name on it. And the problem of course is that the pain doesn't just end there. Then you have to arrive at the wrong level. And when you do, it's like the elevator gods want you to feel every single second of it. Sir, I have a wrong level situation. Ugh, another moron. You know what? Disable that closed door button. I want her to feel every second. I don't think it's working. I think the button's broken. <laughs> come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How long do you want me to disable it for? Uh, when was the last time you updated your Adobe? Sir, I've never updated. No one does. You know what? Hit update. She can wait. Oh, did you want to catch the, the elevator? It's a good thing that we stopped. Oh, no, I'm actually going down, so I'll just wait. Oh, okay. Cool. Might start reading this book. I can't believe we just watched all of the Lord of the Rings. You know what? You can let it go. And look, to be fair, it was my fault. I pressed the wrong button. And usually when that happens, I just pretend it's the level I want and I get out. This is the level that I work at. I, this is the right level for me. But there's something about pressing the wrong level button that's kind of next level in terms of anger. How smooth was that? But you know what I'm saying, right? I can't believe as an adult, I get out on the wrong level and make up some alt alternate life because I'm that scared. It's just like people can't forgive, it, it's an unforgivable sin, which makes me think if heaven existed and you had to catch an elevator to get up there and you press that wrong button, it'd go down like this. Oh, no. Um, oh. I'm so excited, what's heaven like? It's good, um, we have really good Wi-Fi. Um, and the buffet breakfast goes till three, but I don't know if you're going to be able to experience that. Why? Are you serious? Oh, just once. It's just that we don't have very much space and obviously, I mean, it was higher than level. It's, it's the heaven button. Come on, you were so close. We don't have Wi-Fi down here. And because I don't whine enough about first world shit, what is the deal with elevators? Why does the ground floor system keep changing? Just press ground. I don't know which one ground is. What do you mean? Well, there's like a zero, an L, an S, and a star. Try the star. Only elevators can make up their own scale, you know? Where zero can be one, or S can be zero, or G can be one, or a star can mean something. It doesn't matter anyway. You always end up in a car park. Come on. What are you doing? It's the car park. This is the level that we wanted to get off. The car park is the level that we wanted. We wanted this. So remember kids, no matter what you do in life, you're going to end up in a car park. That's a Nat slogan. Though now I think about it, also could be a killer slogan, also could be a threat. So let's put that one on the back burner and never talk about it again. But let me know in the comments below, have you ever pressed the wrong button and then felt so bad that you got out and pretended you belonged there? Please let me know other people do this because I told my friend and she thought this was incredibly irrational. She's like, no Nat, other people have things to do. I'm like, I know, you wear a tie, you're in a building, you have coffee breaks, la di da. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Also, I apologize. I know the past week has felt like three or four. It happens during the summer times. The days are very long. I know, I apologize. Also, I got some feedback that my last videos, uh, the last few have been particularly grouchy. I hope when you say that, you mean the last 400 or so, but they have been. I'm getting old, I don't know, guys. But I channeled my most irrational, uh, my most irrational, thinkings into some really crude drawings that kind of only last a few seconds. And I was thinking about uploading them in a very delightful, under a delightful series title of Shut the Up. 
but I wanted to warn you about it so that if you don't like the really, really, really complaining nat, you're like, there's a different nat. But if you really don't like it, you should avoid those ones. Or if you guys think I should just not upload them, you're like, the internet doesn't need that. Please let me know because I would like some forewarning if, uh, if you're all going to hate those. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you guys soon in the car park. That's, it sounds like a threat. Okay, it's porno music slash comment time. And you know what? You're right. I don't think I can withdraw $5. I meant more that I had withdrawn before. I, there was backstory in it, guys. I'd withdrawn, I'd spent money with my friends, and then I had $5 change. Just, you'll have to take it on that. And a couple of you mentioned my Alanis Morissette tape thing. Thank you. I'm glad some of you know who Alanis Morissette is. Some of you didn't. She, I was going to say she is like Avril Lavigne, but you probably don't know who that is as well. She is like whatever fetus you listen to now, who is kind of grungy, um, but not really. I don't know. And it was, that's a bit offensive. Alanis Morissette was cool. And I like how much mango talk there was in the last video. Mangoes are great. They're a big part of Australian summers. You're never going to have a mango until you come here and have one. They're delightful. It's very sad that they're, you know, the channel is getting old when I ended talking about mangoes and you guys just tell me the price of it. Nat, mangoes are on sale. Thanks guys, it's cool. I'm doing well. Are you really though? No.